So in this video, I want to show you how to add some dis digital signal processing, or what we call DSP. One of the very first things you want to add to audio is something called reverb. Reverb means reverberation, and it means the sound that is actually hanging over in the room. So when you think about a gymnasium, for instance, it has a, it's very big, it's very um, large, and so it has a lot of reverberation usually. It's hard surfaces, things bounce off of it, as opposed to being in a small coat, coat closet. It's got a lot of clothing and you know coat, coats in it, and it's very dry sounding. So I'm going to solo this track here. This has this audio in it, and let's take a listen to what it sounds like. Spinning the hottest beats in the New York Tri-State. So that uh, should say area. Let's just get it out. New York Tri-State area. Spinning the hottest beats in the New York Tri-State area. So there we go. It's nice and dry. It's got um, no effects on it. And so what we're going to do is add some effects. Go to the icon here, and this icon looks like an audio file because this is an audio track. So it's the audio icon. And you'll see that I have very clean voice. It's just the, the loaded in audio that I've dragged and dropped and put it right here. And you have some bass and treble. And this refers to low sounds and high sounds, low quality and high quality. And this is reverb, reverberation. We can also do panning and volume for the individual track. So I have reverb here. And um, you'll hear that it was dry, right? New York Tri-State area. I'm going to put this all the way up so you can hear what it sounds like. In the New York Tri-State area. So that's kind of ridiculous. You'll hear it goes on and on and lasts. Reverberation is what lasts after the words stop. So I'm going to just play a couple of words and stop it, then listen to what lasts after the words stop. The New York. All of that is reverberation, all of that stuff that hangs over. Uh, it's very, 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 very fast echoes. That's what reverberation is, is things echoing back and forth and back and forth so fast it just you can't tell the words, the difference. So let's back it off a little, see what it sounds like. In the New York Tri-State area. All right, still pretty big, but. In the New York Tri-State area. All right, that's not bad. Getting a little bit, a little will go a long way. You don't want it to sound so much that you can't understand the words. So I want to make sure the words come through and the words are up front and I clarify the words. New York Tri-State area. And that the reverb is just kind of back there naturally, right? That's what I want to do. So that's my preset just for the reverb. And let's hear it in the mix. Spinning the hottest beats in the New York Tri-State area. So it gives it a lot of warmth that makes it sound natural. I'm going to save my work. Great. Now I'm going to add the second thing that I might add would be something called echo. Um, now, I don't want to add echo to the whole thing because echo is the sound of something being repeated one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. And if you keep repeating things over and over and over in your audio, it's going to start to cover up other words. So I'll show you what that means if I, uh, excuse me, go back here. And what I'm going to do is add an effect. We're going to use this thing called stereo delay. That is one of, or you can use a regular delay if you like here. I'm just going to use this uh, preset of stereo delay. And you're going to see that here's the mix and here's the timing. Um, and we'll see what it, what you could turn it off if you want and turn it on. So here it is off so we can hear what it sounds like without it. Solo the track. The hottest beats. That's what that is. Put it on and here it comes. In the hottest beats in, in the New York Tri-State Tri area. So you hear that's a lot. There's a lot going on. And uh, I don't necessarily want it on everything because what happens is it just starts covering up. I want to clearly hear all of these words. There's a lot of words going on. If you have a lot of echo, 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 everything echoing one on top of the other, it gets confusing what the front is. So all I want to do is add some echo right here to the very end, this thing called area. Area. There it is. And I found it really quickly like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new track and add it to a separate track. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the track. And when you duplicate the track, so this is spinning the hottest beats, the first one. The green one is the second one we created. So when you add a new track, it will add to it automatically the reverb that we added in. Now, I had the stereo delay put in there, but it was turned off. I'm going to put it back on. But I'm going to first find where is that area, 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 because that's all I want. So I'm going to zoom in and make sure, ah, you see? You zoom in really far, you can get right to where it is. I'm going to just listen to this new one here. Area. 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 There it is. And I will indeed edit this. 
track. Let me get this out of the way so we can see this more clearly. I'm going to edit my first track down so the only thing I have is area, right? I'm going to use the ruler bar as my guide. And then I'm going to edit out the second track here and make sure that only I have the first part and that area exists on this new track. It has the reverb and the echo. So let's hear both of these together to see how it sounds. In the New York Tri-State area. Area, 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 area. Sounds perfectly natural to me. So let's hear all of this in the mix and see how it sounds. Just this little portion. Spinning the hottest beats in the New York Tri-State area. Area, area, area. So that is how you can add reverb. And then always add reverb. Keep adding reverb to your tracks because I'll come up here and I'll add reverb to this track as well. And maybe for this one, if I decided maybe I want a little more reverb or I want a little less reverb. One, two, three, four. Maybe I want this to sound really far away. Maybe I want to edit it and add other effects to it. And there's some other effects that you can add in here. So each one doesn't have to sound the same. The other thing I could do if I wanted to is move this this track completely over to one side so it's only coming out of one ear one two three four. and maybe i want mike nice to be completely on this side the other side right move them over and don't forget if i'm having it go there i'm going to do that as well so that dj mike nice is now panned on one side, it's moving, pan is panoramic, moving it from one side to the other. Spinning the hottest beats in the New York Tri-State. Yep, and then area would be there area. too. Area, area, area. Good, and then this particular side, Mike Nice. One, two, three, four. So you can add space by moving things around, by adding reverb and panning things to the left, a little to the right, and you can add a kind of dimensional space to it, a two-dimensional space in panning, and a three-dimensional space using uh, reverb and echo.